as the skull and bone set sail from Spindrift Town, Master Kolmar began to whisper tales of a nearby island and a mighty artifact that would aid the chase of the Midnight Rose. As the mists drew close around her hull, he changed her course and set his sights upon the Isle of the Dead. Welcome back to Let's Play Pirates of the Sword Coast. You might notice something is a little off. Um, Langer is with us instead of Willigan. Um, I don't know. This sequence with Willigan seems to be sort of bugged. Um, no matter what I did, I could not get him to appear on the ship here. Like, I would only have four crew members, which I imagine is a problem. So I, I'm not going to push my luck. Uh, I don't quite understand it. Sometimes he wouldn't even appear in the cutscene. Sometimes he would appear in the cutscene. Cut scene. One time when I um, selected him, Langer came along anyway. No idea. So I guess in, I guess Willigan will just get to stay at the bar with Grogbeard and drink. And I guess Langer will come along with us. I don't know, man. Kind of weird. I tried like literally five, six times and it just never worked. So Langer it is. There she be, lad, the island of the dead. Forget the diversion, but if yees intend to pick a fight with Umberly and her priestesses, then you'll be needing the artifact that is said to rest here. Tis the lucky thing I know a ceremony that will unlock it. Oh, wow. Wow. This guy brought us to the island of the dead? Oh my gosh. The island of the dead. Sounds ominous. I don't like it one whit. It'd be more than just a name, you see. My necromantic studies have brought me here before, eh, old Tom? There was a time when kings and emperors were buried here, entombed with all their re I don't even know what word that is. It'd be said that kings crossed over, but the retainers linger on to guard the passage. Worry not. Old Tom has some supplies to aid ye against their wrath. Tell me about this artifact we're claiming. Rat to aid against Summerlee! Aid against Summerlee! Rat! Hush, lad. Once we've seized it and left this island in our wake, I'll answer you every question and counsel ye in its use. Until then, the dead be listening, and tis a subject best left undiscussed for fear we might provoke them. Tell me about the ceremony. Aye, I've already described it to the crew, so they'll help guide ye through it. In short, there be five sigils scattered about the isle, and five crew members to stand upon them. Once all five are active, a portal will appear where I'll await ye atop yonder hill. No sigil for you, warm blood. Ye and I shall step through that portal into a hidden... I cannot say this word. Sep... Sepulchre. Sep... Sepulchre. Sepulchre. I don't know. Deep in the island's heart, a final sigil lies within, once reserved for the coffins of emperors and kings, though it lies in, in the artifact you seek. Who stands on that final sigil? Ye do, Vatan, in all your mates. Ye stand on it as the kings and emperors have, while, in the role of high priest, I recite an incantation that will deliver the artifact plumb into your lap. Once you have the artifact, we hunt the rose. If that still be your wish, then it be done, lad. What's in this for you, Kalmar? Kalmar, I want a cracker! Me? <laughs> you got me a crew, didn't ye? Some of the finest mates of Spindrus Arbor, no less. And under my command, I'll make them finer yet. And by doing this, you also be helping me with my research. All things considered, this be quite the opportunity. All right, how do we? Let's get this started, Komar. It still be Captain Komar while we aboard this ship, lad. And don't you forget it. Old Tom has a map of all the sigils you're to find, a device by which to activate them, and some supplies to aid ye against the dead. I advise ye not to leave the ship without him. The crew will follow whoever holds the activator, though old Tom will stay behind to mine the ship. Return to him if you be needing more supplies. As for me, I'll be waiting atop the hill for you to activate all the sigils. Once you're ready, come meet me there. You ready? Yeah, I'm going to speak to old Tom about the supplies. All right, lad, don't get yourself killed. I'll meet you at the top. 
A necromancer is getting five people, six people, to stand on sigils for a ritual for a supposed artifact. Master Komar is gone, little brother, but his magic still binds me. At least we have some time for small words. Er, small time for words. What do you know about this island? It is a dangerous one, little one. The dead are everywhere. More dangerous yet, however, are the living. I would tell you more, but Master Komar prevents me. Why do we come here? Aye, why aren't we pursuing the Midnight Rose? Because there is something that Master Komar wishes to happen. There is something that I wish to happen as well, though he does not know it. I can tell you no more, little brother, as I am bound by magic and common sense both. Why does Komar keep you chained chain to the rudder? What? Oh, why does Komar keep the rudder chained to him? Because I did not obey my master. But do not worry for me, little brother. Master Komar does not know it yet, but his chains will not hold me here forever. Do as he bids you, and you have my promise that all will be well. Komar said you have the signal activator. That, a map, and plenty more. There is holy water and other such things to protect you from the dead. Even more important is a charm that will protect you from the living. A talisman eater of garm. They are given as gifts of good fortune among my people. It is an honor to receive one. It was mine when I first came to this place, and I have carried it ever since. Now it is your turn. Take them, little brother. Be safe, and keep your wits about you in this darkest hour. Uh, goodbye. He has just like a general store. We don't really need anything from him. You alright, Captain? I've never seen such hordes of undead as, as these. Let's find those sigils before we're overwhelmed. This was holy ground once, Captain. It was put to ill purpose, though, and death has corrupted it. It's not safe to linger here. Come, let's keep looking for those sigils. I can barely see through the fog, Captain. There's safety in numbers, so let's stick together and use old Tom's map to find all those sigils. Curse these mist lads, me eyes be f failing me at the best of times, but this is near impossible. I hope you be following that map of yours, or else we'll find nothing out here but our own graves. Let me see that map again, Captain. You're leading us the wrong way. Hmm. How hard do you think it would be to obtain a lighthouse permit? With all these ancient burial grounds about, the bo zoning bylaws must be a nightmare. Good lord. For someone that wanted to get out of the... Lighthouse, he seems to talk about it a lot. There's a signal. Okay. Hello. You taking enough damage from me? Just, you know, three weapons worth of damage on every attack. No resistant to cold for an overpowering... For, I, well, I would assume an undead being would have some sort of resistance to cold. The cold and wet has done a number on me knees. I'll take this one and rest for a while. Dude, you helped us fight one enemy. Aye, well, it'd be warmer here within, lad. And good for me old bones. You'll be fine without me for a while, don't you fret? Rick, requesting permission to land. Over. Oh my god, Polly, please. Why are you still here, Polly, if it's so... Hello? Where, where are we? Oh. Can't say anything else to them. So is life at sea always like this, Nassar? For, Nassar has seemingly a completely replaced Garm for any NPC banter. The boats are usually better and the shore leaves less creepy. But other than that, things are about the same. I sure do miss Captain Allendry, though. Do you think we'll make it out of this? Ha! <laughs> I wish I knew, Felton, but I don't think we could turn back now if we tried. Come on, it's best we keep moving. Why is it so important you invent Jalandry? I don't really know. I guess he was the first one who ever really gave me a chance. He was a good captain, he died for his ship. He earned my respect. If we don't make the scene pay, pay, who will? Thanks for coming all this way, Nassar. You've come a long way too, you know. Make a pretty good team. Garm and Polly aren't half bad either, and Mishy. Thanks, that's everything. A pirate's life for me! Why are you still here, Polly, if it's so easy to fly away? Polly can fly! Polly can fly! Eat my dust egg heads! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Over! Damn it. Oh god. 
Langer going in. Langer showing no mercy. I do so much damage. This is unbelievable. This guy probably is unaffected by cold. No, he is. Maybe he's just resistant or something. Okay, wait. There's a sigil. Okay, I guess we're not getting that. I guess we're going to have to run back to that sigil. Good lord. We are moving right now. We are gaming. I'm not even sure what a keyhole mutineer is. But I'm wrecking him like everything else. Don't hit my dog. Don't hit my dog. Thank you. I need my dog. He's a very, very useful member of the team. I'm not sure what they're doing back there. I sw does, has Francis fought at all? Where's Langer, too? What is going on here? Le oh my god, where are we going? Okay, well, I don't think you can fight him. Yeah, you guys are going to try to fight him, but I really don't think you can. Someone get on this sigil. Ah, that's a fine-looking spot for a lighthouse. I'll take it. Sir, get on the sigil. Thank you. No. Ah, yes, so we'll put the entrance there and the prism control mechanism in that corner. We'll have to make it at least four stories high to get above all this fog. Oh, hello there, Captain. Were you needing something? Yeah! Just a bit- Oh, God. Langer! Langer doesn't have a weapon, I just realized. I'll heal Langer. Where the hell is he running to? What is going on up here? Sweetie Marie's dead, apparently. She And Langer's dead, I think. Yeah, I'm not really surprised Sweetie Marie's dead, considering I think she ran up here herself. Ow, that hurt, to say the least. Not critting as much as I'd like, considering this is a keen weapon, but... We need to get out of combat. I think that's what gets them up. I think they will... And Francis is just not helping us fight. Yes, yeah, Sweetie Marie's up. Langer is up. Oh, don't rest yet. Let's level before we rest. We'll take another level in Ranger. Wisdom. Hmm, what do I want? Oh my gosh, there's not really much that's great for me to get as a spell here, actually. Hmm. Sure, I'll take mobility. Now I gotta resummon mischief. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now if you two could not die anymore, and if Francis could help us fight, that'd be great. How much health does mischief have now? 71? That's not great. <laughs> it's not very good. I'm at a... 128, Nassar's at 173. Yeah, that's not not great. I gotta be honest. There's a sigil here. Who's getting on? A sigil. Allow me to examine it, Captain. You must hurry, Captain. Find the remaining sigils and then go to Colmar at the top of the hill so we can finish this ceremony. The sooner we're gone from this place, the better. No doubt about that. No arguments for me there. Yar. You can't hit me, dude. I have a 28 AC. Like, you're not... Your odds of hitting me are, uh... Oh my god, Langer. Where are you going, Langer? I think Langer actually just hit him. I almost can't... I think he just hit that one, too. I can't believe it. He's punching people to death. What is he, a monk or something? Here's another sigil. Who's getting on? 
I'm sorry, Captain, but my energies are spent. Let me take this sigil. And he's not standing on it. But it activated, so I think he's just going to stand there. Yeah, that sigil actually has Wi-Fi. That's actually how it's working. Oh my. I don't need Langer dying again. I was going to say, if it attacks Garm, I'm okay with that. Don't attack Langer. Leave Langer alone. Hashtag leave Langer alone. I'll heal Langer, actually. I don't need Langer dying. He's already died once today. Oh, he's going to die here. He's going to die to the AoE, probably. Get off my dog. These things have so much health, actually. Like, now that I'm looking at it. Look at all the damage he's taking. We're, we're literally able to hit people with all three of the main forms of... Of... Elemental damage. I have three, alone. And... Um... Ooh, remains. And... Nassar has... Oh. Nassar has one. Langer is near death. Mischief is badly wounded. Get on the sigil, Langer. I'll take that sigil, Captain. It's the least I can do. Don't worry about me, Captain. The magic that holds me here seems to protect me from the dead as well. Go find the rest of these sigils and then seek Master Colmar atop the hill. And I'll go back and talk to Francis, because I did forget, admittedly. Yeah, he's just in the middle of the field. Granted, he really didn't do anything for us at all. I don't think he took a single attack roll. This magic is strange, Captain. It served a holy purpose once. Don't worry, I'll be fine in here. Just fill up the remainder and see I'd see the ceremony to its completion. You know, I'm sitting here like, this, these enemies don't seem all that difficult, you know, as I swing an infinity plus one sword, basically. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure how fair it is now that I really think about it. I mean, this is in... Okay, I don't mean to keep gushing about it, right? But this is literally... We have a treasure map for the Isle of the Dead? How do I not know this? Is a big mushroom 36 paces west. How did I not know this? I had a map for this place? Wait, really? Sincerely? Okay, well, you know what? We'll do this later. Like, as we're leaving. I'm not going to do this now. Because, uh... We have a bit more important things to do right now. I didn't even realize I had a map for this place, though. But literally, this is an... This is a 1D24 item. That's obscene. That's plus three and has keen. Perfect, lad. The signals will all be active and the port will be open for us to pass into the, the, into the place. You be ready to step inside and take your place in the final signal. The one fit for kings and emperors. Yes, let's claim the artifact and be gone. Aye, let's be done with it, or this island will be the death of us yet. It'd be good for ye as eager as I. Falton, come ye rusty devils, open yourselves for Captain Komar and his mighty crew. Let's go. Yes, I can feel it. The time is at hand. Ah, uh, well done, Falton. Well done indeed. You can't move in there, can ye? No, I don't think so. Twas where old Tom stood once, all our crew arrayed round about. Twas old Tom who steered us into that storm, you know. I lost all me loyal crew and almost lost myself as well. He ne'er was one to follow orders. But this time, aye, this time things will be different. I'll sick ye on him like dogs to tear limb from bony limb. What's going on? You don't understand, even now. 
I be a necromancer, lad. In this island, this ceremony, it be for making or undead. Those who built it believed that dead kings and emperors needed loyal servants to serve and aid them in the afterlife. As for me, it is this life I be worried about. "'Twas through a mutiny that I lost my first ship, and twas on these shores that I washed up, marooned. I learned its secrets and swore I never faced mutiny again. As me undead crew, I control ye, heart and soul. Undead are everywhere. Why do you need us? Ah, courtiers, concubines, servants, and soldiers. This island be full of them. That be true. But what I need is sailors, lads, sailors like ye. The bones remember, even in death. Why didn't old Tom obey your orders? Ah, it is a misery that confounds me still. At first I thought I did something wrong, but the incantation. But I've pondered it long and hard, and I know every syllable was right. He became undead like all the rest, but ne'er could I control him. Mayhaps t'was due to him having two heads. The ceremony was ne'er intended for one such as he. But when it comes to heads, lad, ye've only one. <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be proven a problem. Set me free, or I'll kill you, Colmar. Think about that statement a while, lad. I dare say it doesn't quite make sense now, does it? I'll really be see from the sigil when me incantation be through. You'll be undead by then, and heeding me beck and call through other means. Go ahead, then. Do your worst. Ah, I knew ye'd come around. Take a deep breath and say goodbye. Tis the last breath of air you'll ever know. Yeah, the skull and bones be crude again. Now lick your captain's boots. Lick mine, Colmar. What? You're supposed to be under my control. Avast me, loyal crew. Attack the mutinous traitor. We brought them here to die. Curiouser and curiouser. The tibular grass gustled back quite contently, seemingly oblivious to his sudden incorporeality. Sweetie Marie seems rather pleased with her undead form, though you wonder what impact it might have on her clerical abilities. Yeah, I guess she doesn't want to turn undead right now, does she? Vengal Bloodsail, founder of Neverwinter's venerable Bloodsail gang, faked his death numerous times over the course of his career. You wonder if it might finally stick this time. Sir Francis seemed rather upset by all this undead business. business. Ernest, honest, and entirely... Okay, well... Oh, it death appears to have changed. Long neck langer, very little. Well, I'm gonna go after v Vengal first because he seems quite tough. Got finally got a crit with this keen. Okay, well Langer's dead. Garm is going after. Garm is going after Colmar. Ow! I am blinded. She's dead. I could say he's still. Even in death, Sir Francis doesn't help. He's been uninjured so far. Wow. Oh, get him, lads! I can't see again. Beat his ass. <laughs> 